Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to find out can you crush grass into wood. And we are going to do it this time in two different ways. We are going to try my way and then the right way with some real scientists. And we are going to use this press with heated bed so we can also add some heat this time to the process. Okay, my logical approach would just take grass and crush the shit out of it, but I was told that it's not going to work like that. But luckily we are here at Avans University of Applied Science in the laboratory of Amnext. So we have their help to make it work in a right way. But we are going to also try my method on the end of the video. And this time we are not going to use my worm maker or just random cylinders. We have these molds so we can make nice plank thing out from the grass. And here is the press that we are going to use. It's 100 ton profi press with the heater table and this fan fancy control for everything. So it allows us quite precise control of all the parameters according to actual crushing. But let's go see what we are going to put in. We're gonna mix the, our grass fibers with some resin to make a composite so that uh, the resin acts as a binder but also a protector from the fibers so that we can use it as an outside product. That's uh, the basic idea but then we mix it and I can explain yeah. more but uh, yeah, yeah. that's the main uh, reason why we use binders. But also grass is not very strong so we, it needs some help. Have you tried just crushed really hard what happens? <laughs> I have not tried it, so I'm curious yeah. what uh, all come yeah, out. Maybe it turns out that it doesn't need any help. <laughs> maybe it doesn't need any help. Uh, that's why we have you here, no? Yeah. <laughs> let's yeah, um, yeah. let's mix some ingredients. It's uh, not super. It's bio-based, but not super healthy, which is like a sort of a misconception that everything that's natural is safe to be used. It is not. Yeah. Yeah. There's. Plenty of like uh, things on the forest that if you eat them, you die. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's the, the idea. But this is, uh, there's a lot of monomer in there, which is not very healthy to yeah. uh, inhale. Uh. Okay, what's that liquid? Is it like the activator or? Yeah, this is a catalyst uh, to help the resin cure. Uh, how about that? This is what we call a plasticizer. It'll help um, the fibers uh, move through the molds and get in all the nooks and crannies of a com complex uh, shape. Yeah, so um, grass is a, is a waste product. It gets uh, mown twice a year and then you have to pay to throw it away. So this is actually a negative cost. So the people can pay us to, uh, to make it into a material. So it's a waste material and it's really nice if we can actually use it to make a material and make something useful out of it. So we're mixing the wet ingredients, but now we're going to uh, combine it with the dry ingredients, which is fillers and the fibers, which is fibers is grass. And fillers we use zeolite, uh, which helps with the, the managing the water content uh, and also helps uh, uh, like ball bearings. They're, they're round, so they're helping the fibers like roll through the, the mold uh, and fill the, uh, the mold homogeneously. It looks like mammy. Forbidden mammy. Don't eat this. Okay, now I got interested if you would eat it, would it get hard on your, in your stomach? Okay, close the lid. This, this looks familiar. Yes. Are you going to use full force or how much we're going to crush it? Uh, no, this is, uh, we're going to press it at 25 uh, tons. 25? So just little baby squeeze. Yes. It yeah. uh, have to stay uh, long like under pressure, it doesn't take long. It takes, uh, um, now we do about 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, we hope that we can speed up the process in the future. Um, 
but for now the research is focused on the recipe so we want to keep yeah. it constant like how much time yeah. it is and we want to be sure that it is completely uh, um, like cured when we take it out uh, so there's a little bit more margins when mixing and uh, yeah. and uh, curing than you would do in the, in the industrial process. Yeah, my recommendation is more heat and more pressure. <laughs> it's your we recipe. We can try that, yeah. <laughs> okay, but now we wait. Okay, okay, now it's ready. The press is opening. It has an yes. automatic work, work cycle made for this use case. And the mold is closed, and now we are going to go open it. Hey, that's really clever. They could have a threaded hole on the worm makers, so then we wouldn't need to use the press to push them out. We could use the screw to push it out. Ooh, there it is. Looks like something that you could eat, like chocolate cookie. Chocolate bar. Choc giant chocolate bar. Okay, let's let it cool down. Yes. Okay, now it's ready. It uh, looks like chocolate bar. It's quite hot. And but it gets a bit harder still when yes, it cools Yes, if it cools down, it's hard completely. Yeah. And it, it looks really nice. It looks like actual product, like that's made in factory, but I think it's a bit cheating. You add quite a lot. So uh, can we just put just grass? And in my recipe, if we had hun have 100 tons, we are going to use 100 tons and also as hot as, hot as possible. Let's try it and out. And let's, let's compare the two recipes, like the science and the uh, Lauri's home recipe. Okay, now the press is hot and we are going to load the grass without any cheating. I think this might work better if the grass would be like uh, fresh, but this is how the material is and that is what we are going to use. I think that looks Level pretty good. Five? Yeah. That's it? That's huh? <laughs> Close the lid and here we go. So that's the like thickness of the. Yes. Yeah, I think that looks pretty decent. Yeah, the loading cart is super professional. Okay, and here we go. Is it now on full power? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's see which is better more force or cheating. Is it already full? That was quite fast and it's quite quiet. Didn't explode. Didn't explode. Yeah, that's always first step to success. If it doesn't explode. <laughs> we are going to uh, try let some because gas if out. <laughs> if there is any. Okay, okay, didn't explode. So maybe a bit more time and heat. Because sometimes if it's wet or it releases other gases, it uh, slightly explodes when you open it. Okay, let's see. Okay, didn't explode. It didn't explode. It smells, it smells better. <laughs> it smells like grass. Yeah, the heat has definitely done something because it smells like grass here. And the grass didn't smell anything before heating up because it was so dry. And the heating elements on the press are 30 kilowatts of their power rating. So they draw a lot of electricity, but it's necessary because they're so heavy that it would took forever to heat them up with like five kilowatts or something like that. Also, if needed, ProfiPress can make models that go even hotter than 200 degrees Celsius. All the heated hydraulic presses are made to customer needs, so it depends on the use case that customer needs the press for, the maximum temperature that the press is made for. And if your company needs heated press or any other hydraulic press, there is email down in description where you can contact ProfiPress team to ask about any machine that you need. No, 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 it's close. Ooh. 
ok hey. I think the color is like no it, it it's it's yeah, for our way. oh this no. is already the the uh, it's it's really stuck and quite weak. Okay, my super material is ready. Uh, I think we should go to compare our <laughs> reference. <laughs> so, so this is like. Uh, please be honest. If you think that you would buy this product to be part of your house or something, or then my super material. Which one you would pick? Yeah. Uh, this. <laughs> I'm not sure what great things I could say. They, <laughs> they said that this is like fire safe material. I think this is fire starter material. <laughs> but I have my own fire truck, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think, I think the cheating has its place when you try to make some actually useful. Yeah. But, but we give it a try without the cheating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and hey, this is not that far from Finland. So if you like this video, please let me know. And we can make even more. We had only like morning here. Oh, there's even bigger parts of my <laughs> oh, super material. Yeah, yeah. You should yeah. almost make house of it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make a puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had only like a couple hours here. We have busy schedule, but we can return here and do a bunch of these super materials in future and yeah that is all for today thank you for watching and have a nice day <laughs>